Hi everyone, today we learn how to create a table with existing data elements. Go to the transaction SE11, that is ABAP dictionary, click on enter, go to ABAP dictionary, in the database table, just enter your table name, say demo table. Okay, click on create, give the short description, demo table, choose the delivery class, mm, we'll choose application, master and transaction data, application table is nothing but table with client column in it, okay, table browser or table viewing, application maintenance allow for the restriction we can't create entries so uh, we'll go with application maintenance allowed choose fields since we have chosen delivery and maintenance delivery class as e application table our first field will be client field that is mandate key field it must be a key field May and DT, click on enter. See, this is predefined data element client. Wait, okay. Next is material number. It's my key field, so I'm specifying that element is Matna. Matna is predefined data element from Mara table. So, when I choose this, on this data type, length, decimal and short description will be populated automatically. Next is material name. And the data element, ER num. Click on enter. Okay, next is industry sector. MBRSH click on enter industry sector net underscore weight NTGEW is my data element net weight weight unit G E W E I. Since we have net weight as quantity field, we need to mention quantity and currency fields with the reference table and reference fields. Else we'll be getting an error. So to avoid, we are taking all the data elements from Mara. The reference table will be Mara. And the reference field will be G E E I. Now just save this. I'm saving it as a local object. Then go to technical settings. Now give the data class. Uh, see what is a data class actually? A data class is nothing but some part in the database where all the data of the field table is assigned to the data class which we are storing okay choose one APPLO is master data transparent labels here in this master data the data uh, won't be changed regularly now for example in a company uh, the data of uh, employee like employee name employee id won't be changed regularly in that case we'll go to a plo master data master data choose this click on continue size category there are different size available according to our specifications if we choose zero now in the table we can enter zero to four thousand eight hundred records I'm going with the basic since it's demo. Click on continue. Just save. It's saved. 
and go back. Before activating, we need to enhance a table for further modifications. Else we'll be getting a uh, warning. I'll show you. I'll just check. See, uh, enhancement category for table is missing. So we need to enhance. Click on more. Extras. Enhancement category. It's not classified. Select an enhancement category. Yes. Uh, enhancement category for structure. There are various structures. I'm choosing can be enhanced deep. To avoid complications. Now again save. Saved. Check for consistencies. No, cons no inconsistency spawned. Try to activate. Yes. Objects got activated. See, my table is active. Uh, since uh, I need to enter some of the values with these fields in this table. To enter fields, go to more extra utilities contents create entries one zero one material name cpu one industry sector f weight any number unit 70 weight unit is kg click on save database is currently to view the record you got saved contents just give the number or execute see thank you for watching